Okay, welcome to another simple engineering snippet. In this instructional video, we will be working through a ranking cycle example uh, where we'll be calculating the cycle efficiency and back calculating the turbine efficiency. Okay, some of the assumptions and simplifications we will be using in our analysis is that we will be uh, treating any changes in potential and kinetic energies across any of the components as negligible. And the work input to the pump is, will be negligible compared to the uh, energy added by the boiler or the uh, power from the shaft of the turbine. Uh, both of these uh, assumptions and simplifications are uh, pretty standard for uh, rank heat cycles. Okay, so let's label some points. Point one will be the inlet to the turbine. Point two is the outlet from the turbine and inlet to the condenser. Point three is the outlet from the condenser hot well and inlet to the pump. And point four is the outlet from the pump, the inlet to the boiler. Some of the known properties. Well, point one is at 5,000 kilopascals, and it is superheated by 20 degrees Celsius. Point two, the pressure of the condenser is 15 kilopascals. And point three is also 15 kilopascals, and is subcooled 5 degrees Celsius. And the pump takes us back up to 5,000 kPa at point four. Okay, so this video is not on how to determine uh, steam properties and water properties, and so I've used uh, function calls from uh, uh, a water property library to obtain these, and uh, we'll be calling these back up as we uh, need them. Uh, note that we do have all the saturation properties for 5,000 kilopascals and 15,000 uh, kilopascals. And again, we'll be using a lot of these in our analysis. Okay, uh, we'll also be referring to a temperature entropy diagram. And let's go ahead and add our 5,000 uh, kilopascal uh, isobar and our 15 kilopascal uh, isobar. And we already know enough about information about the inlet to the turbine point one to add that point. And point three, we have enough information to add that point. All right, so let's jump into uh, calculating the cycle efficiency. Uh, definition of cycle efficiency is the net workout uh, divided by the energy end. And net work out is the uh, work out from the turbine minus work in by the pump. And as we stated, one of our uh, approximations is going to be that the work in of the pump is going to be negligible. So to obtain specific work out, I would take the power out from the turbine and divide it through by the mass flow rate going through the turbine. That gives us specific work or energy per unit mass. Center type uh, procedure for the uh, energy in by the boiler. Uh, we can divide that through by the mass flow rate, and we are left with energy per unit mass. So to calculate the uh, cycle efficiency, uh, we can take the specific work out from the turbine divided by the specific work in from the boiler, and we get 0.21 or 21%. So that completes half the problem. But it's not really half because uh, determining the turbine efficiency uh, is going to be a little bit more involved. Let's start with... Uh, what is the definition of uh, the efficiency of a turbine? Well, it's the real work out divided by the ideal work. An ideal turbine will be putting out more work uh, than a real turbine, and therefore this ratio will be uh, less than one as expected. Okay, so we have a real work process in the numerator, ideal work in the denominator, and that is going to be an isotropic work process, and so let's... Uh, Let's draw that on our uh, TS diagram, our tension entropy diagram. And it is a vertical line, is shown with the green line here, and it's going down to a point labeled 2S, that is the isentropic point uh, from going from one uh, down to the uh, lower isobar at 15 uh, kilopascals. When we can, now we can define the efficiency of our turbine in terms of enthalpies. And so the real work process goes from point one to point two, which is somewhere on this, uh, 15 kilopascal isobar. We don't know exactly where yet. And also uh, in the numerator, in the denominator, sorry, is uh, the difference in entropy between 0.1 and 0.H2S, which we know is on the isobar and we know it's the same entropy as 0.1. So we have two unknowns, H2 and H2S. We need to determine those. And let's start with uh, H2S. And well, if we knew the the quality at 0.2s, we would be good to go, but we don't know that. Uh, but we do know several things about 0.2s, and that is on the uh, 15 kilopascal isobar. 
And again, we know that uh, the entropy at 2s is the same as the entropy at point 1. So going back to our property table, uh, we know the entropy at 1. And so that is the same entropy for point 2s. Okay, now that we have that, we can uh, substitute in the uh, property values into our equation. And the only unknown is the uh, quality at point 2s. If we could solve for that, it comes out to be 0.74. And now that we know that, uh, we can uh, substitute that in. Uh, because we do know the saturation properties at 15 kilopascals are straight out of our uh, property tables. And we put that in. Now we can calculate the uh, enthalpy at point 2s and obtain this value. All right, well, we're not done yet. We still need to find the enthalpy at point 2. So let's revisit our temperature entropy diagram. And I've sketched in where we expect point 2 to occur. We expect it to be right of point 2s. Why is that? Is that in a real process? It's not going to be isotropic. Entropy is going to increase. And so point 2, we expect to be uh, to the right of point 2s. And, but we do know it's on the uh, 15 uh, kilopascal isobar. Okay, well, to determine that, let's go back and uh, we're going to take advantage of our previously calculated cycle efficiency. And returning to the definition of cycle efficiency, which is network out over energy in. And now let's write that in terms of specific enthalpies. So network out is H1 minus H2, which, by the way, is the same as the numerator for the, uh, the turbine efficiency. And in the denominator, it's H1 minus H4. So that's the energy added by the boiler. So we needed to find H4. And well, what is H4? H4 is equal to the enthalpy at point 3, the subcooled condensate, plus the energy added to the pump. And previously, when we were calculating cycle efficiency, we ignored that term. And we could do that again, but we have enough information to calculate it. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. And so plug it in the, uh, the values. And we obtained that the... Uh, the uh, work input by the pump is 5,043 compared to 205,000 for the enthalpy at 0.3. So, yeah, it is quite small. Could ignore it, but since we have it, let's go ahead and use it. And so we calculate this value of 210,000 for the enthalpy at 0.4. So now returning to our, uh, our equations, we have everything that we need except for H2, but it's one equation, one unknown. And so we can solve that for the enthalpy at 2. Now we know all the enthalpies, uh, but before we go back and calculate the turbine efficiency, uh, let's uh, conduct a sidebar. And uh, since now we know the uh, enthalpy at 2, we can calculate the quality at 2, and it comes out to be point 0 0.88. The quality at 0.2s was 0.74, so in fact 0.2 is uh, to the right of uh, the 0.2s as we expected. All right, well, let's return and knock off this, uh, this example and complete our calculation of the uh, efficiency of the turbine. Uh, we have all the, efficient, all the enthalpies that we need, so plug it in the values. We get the turbine efficiency is equal to 0.63 or 63%. So that wraps up this ranking cycle example. I hope you found it useful. Uh, if so, please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.